When I was a child, my grandmother gifted me an old dollhouse she had found in the attic. It was a remarkable piece, adorned with delicate trimmings and tiny furniture that mimic the elegance of a bygone era. Each room was meticulously furnished, complete with miniature beds, tables, and even a tiny kitchen. I cherished the dollhouse, spending countless hours lost in imaginary worlds with its tiny inhabitants. But as the days passed, I began to notice peculiar occurrences that seemed to defy explanation. At night when the house was shrouded in darkness, I would hear faint whispers emanating from the dollhouse, as if the miniature figures had come to life. At first, I dismissed these whispers as figments of my imagination, the product of an overactive childhood imagination. But as the whispers grew louder and more distinct, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss. One night, unable to sleep, I crept downstairs to investigate. The dollhouse stood in the corner of the room, bathed in the soft glow of the moonlight filtering through the window. As I approached, I noticed that the tiny door to the dollhouse was slightly ajar, despite having closed it before going to bed. Heart pounding, I peered in seed, half expecting to see the miniature figures come to life before my eyes. What I saw instead sent chills down my spine. The furniture inside the dollhouse had been rearranged. The tiny chairs and tables arranged in bizarre configurations that defied logic. Terrified, I stumbled backward, my mind reeling with fear and confusion. How could this be happening? Was it possible that the dollhouse was haunted? Possessed by some malevolent spirit? Determined to uncover the truth, I set up a camera to capture any unusual activity. Night after night, I watched in horror as the dolls moved of their own accord, their tiny hands pushing furniture and their mouths moving in silent conversation. But the most chilling revelation came when I heard a voice, not from the dollhouse, but from behind me. Turning slowly, I came face to face with a figure shrouded in darkness, its eyes gleaming with an otherworldly light. In the attic of our family home, tucked away amidst a jumble of forgotten treasures, lay an old painting that had been passed down through generations. It depicted a stern-looking woman with piercing eyes, her gaze seeming to follow you wherever you went. According to family lore, the painting was cursed, bringing misfortune to anyone who possessed it. Despite the warnings, my family decided to hang the painting in our living room as a piece of family history. At first, everything seemed normal. But as days turned into weeks, strange occurrences began to plague our home. Objects would inexplicably move on their own, and we would hear eerie whispers echoing through the halls. But the most unsettling phenomenon was the painting itself. The woman's expression seemed to change when no one was looking, her eyes following you around the room with a malevolent glare. Determined to rid ourselves of the curse, we attempted to remove the painting from the house only to find it reappear on the wall the next morning. It was as if the painting refused to leave, tethered to our family by some unseen force. Desperate for answers, we delved into the painting's history, uncovering a dark secret that tied it to a long forgotten tragedy. But as we unearthed the truth, the cursey grew stronger and we realized too late that some things should never be disturbed. In an antique shop nestled in a quaint corner of town, I stumbled upon a peculiar mirror that seemed to beckon to me from its dusty shelf. Intrigued by its ornate frame and ethereal glow, I couldn't resist purchasing it and bringing it home. But from the moment the mirror entered my house, strange occurrences began to unfold. At first it was subtle, a fleeting reflection out of the corner of my eye, a whisper of movement in the glass. But as days turned into weeks, the mirror's influence grew stronger, its presence casting a shadow over my once peaceful home. I soon realized that the mirror was no ordinary object. It was enchanted, 
a gateway to a realm beyond our own. At night, when the world was bathed in darkness, the mirror would come alive with shimmering lights and otherworldly whispers, beckoning me to peer into its depths. Driven by curiosity and a sense of foreboding, I succumbed to the mirror's allure, gazing into its depths with trepidation. What I saw there chilled me to the bone, visions of a twisted realm filled with shadows and echoes of ancient whispers. Desperate to break free from the mirror's grasp, I sought the help of a wise old sage who revealed the mirror's dark secret. It was a portal to a realm of malevolent spirits, eager to ensnare unsuspecting souls. With his guidance, I managed to seal the mirror away, banishing its dark influence from my home forever. But to this day, I can't shake the feeling that the mirror's gazey still lingers, watching and waiting for its next victim to fall into its trap. It was an ordinary day like any other when I stumbled upon an old locket, nestled among a pile of forgotten trinkets at a flea market. Intrigued by its delicate filigree and faded photographs, I couldn't resist purchasing it and wearing it around my neck. But as soon as the locket touched my skin, I felt a chill run down my spine, as if a shadow had descended upon me. Ignoring the sensation, I continued about my day, unaware of the darkness that lurked within the locket's tarnished exterior. As days turned into weeks, as strange occurrences began to unfold around me. Objects would vanish without a trace, and inexplicable accidents would occur with alarming frequency. It wasn't long before I realized that the locket was cursed, a malevolent force that sought to consume me from within. Terrified and desperate for answers, I sought out the help of a renowned psychic who revealed the locket's dark history. It had once belonged to a vengeful spirit, cursed to wander the earth in search of revenge. Determined to break the curse and free myself from its grip, I embarked on a perilous journey to uncover the truth behind the locket's curse. With the help of ancient rituals and powerful incantations, I managed to banish the spirit from the locket, freeing myself from its malevolent influence once and for all. But as I cast the locket into the depths of the ocean, I couldn't shake the feeling that the curse still lingered waiting to ensnare its next unsuspecting victim. Deep within the heart of a dense forest lay a grove of ancient trees known as the Whispering Woods a place steeped in mystery and legend. For centuries, travelers had spoken of strange voices that echoed through the trees, whispers of long-forgotten secrets and untold tales. Intrigued by the stories, a group of adventurers set out to explore the whispering woods, armed with torches and a sense of curiosity. As they ventured deeper into the forest, they were greeted by a chorus of whispers that seemed to emanate from the very trees themselves. At first, the whispers were barely audible, faint murmurs that danced on the edge of perception. But as the adventurers delved deeper into the heart of the woods, the whispers grew louder and more insistent, filling their minds with visions of forgotten lore and hidden treasures. Driven by a desire to uncover the truth behind the whispers, the adventurers pressed on, their footsteps echoing through the silent forest. But with each step, the whispers grew stronger, their words twisting and distorting into incomprehensible gibberish. Lost in a labyrinth of twisted branches and tangled undergrowth, the adventurers soon realized that the whispering woods held secrets far darker than they could have ever imagined. For within the depths of the forest lay a force older than time itself, a malevolent presence that sought to ensnare the souls of all who dared to enter its domain. As the whispers grew louder and the shadows closed in around them, the adventurers knew that they were running out of time. With every passing moment, the forest seemed to come alive with an otherworldly energy, its ancient guardians stirring from their slumber to claim their unwitting prey. But even in the face of insurmountable odds, the adventurers refused to give up hope. 
for within the heart of darkness lay the key to unlocking the forest's true power, a power that could either save them or condemn them to a fate worse than death.